Hi everybody, welcome to Worthington Online Storytime. My name is Miss Karen and I wanted to wish you a happy spring. I'm so excited that spring is here. One of my favorite things about spring is walking outside and hearing all the birds sing. And today we are going to be sharing some stories about birds. But first we're going to do some singing of our own. We're going to do our opening song, The More We Get Together. And just a quick reminder for the signs that go with this song. This is more. Together looks like this. Put your hands and fists and give everybody a big circle of a hug. And then friends, we're gonna hold up our pointer fingers and give each one of them a hug, okay? So the song goes like this. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. The first story I want to share with you today is Hooray for Birds by Lucy Cousins, published by Candlewick Press. Now, grown-ups, this is going to be kind of a fun game, too. Look at all these beautiful, colorful birds. So it's fun, it's fun to spend some time looking at them individually, and then after you read the book, you can go back and match up the ones you've seen on the pages. Okay? This is Hooray for Birds. Can you imagine, just for one day, you're a busy bird? Yes, a bird. Hooray! The sun is up, the sky is blue, wake up and shout. Do you know what the rooster says? Cock-a-doodle-doo! Flap your wings and you can fly higher and higher, up, up in the sky. Show me how you flap your wings. Ready? Let's flap. How high can you fly? Can you stand way up on your tiptoes? There we go. Now that bird's looking for food, pecking in the tree. Now swim along and stretch your neck. Can you put your head way up there? Say, hello darling. Then swoop like a starling. Swoop. bird is looking for food, trying to dig up some bugs and worms. Catch a fly with your beak. Catch it. Catch it. Good job. Stand very tall on just one leg. That's kind of tricky. You can hold on to something if you want to. Say, crook, 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 and lay an egg. Catch a snake and stretch out your wings. Open your beak and sing. La la la, tweet tweet tweet. Mm -hmm. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Waddle like a penguin in the snow. When you waddle, you walk kind of tilting sideways like that. Run like an ostrich. Go, go, go. Are you ready? Let's run. Run. Show off your tail and puff out your chest. Then cuddle up close with Mama in your nest. What a busy bird you've been. The funniest one I've ever seen. You began the day 
cock a doodle doo. Now say good night to wit to woo. Do you know what an owl says? Who? 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 And look, now the birds are all asleep, all except one. Can you see the bird that's awake? The owl. Because he's awake at night. Now let's sing a song about birds. And what we're going to do is some of the actions that we saw in the book and pretended to do before, we're going to pretend to do in our song too. So first, we're going to scratch for some worms. Remember we saw the picture of the bird using its feet to dig up? Yeah, so take your foot and pretend like you're digging with it. There you go. So we'll scratch for worms and then we'll peck for our food. So let's, let's hold this like a tree and we're just going to pretend our nose is a beak and peck at it. Okay, then we're going to sit on our eggs, okay, and then we'll flap our wings, and then we'll fly away. Are you ready? Here we go. This is the way we scratch for worms, scratch for worms, scratch for worms. This is the way we scratch for worms, pretending we are birds. This is the way we peck for food, peck for food, peck for food. This is the way we peck for food, pretending we are birds. This is the way we sit on our eggs, sit on our eggs, sit on our eggs. This is the way we sit on our eggs, pretending we are birds. This is the way we flap our wings, flap our wings, flap our wings. This is the way we flap our wings, pretending we are birds. Ready to fly away? Here we go. This is the way we fly away, fly away, fly away. This is the way we fly away, pretending we are birds. Good job. So what do you think makes a bird a bird? bird. Do you think it's their pretty colors? Well, they do have pretty colors, but other animals have pretty colors too. Do you think maybe it's their bill or their beak? No. Turtles actually have a little bit of a beak. Some turtles do. Do you think it's maybe that they lay eggs? No. Some reptiles and amphibians lay eggs. What can it be? What do you think that birds have that makes them different from all other animals? I'll give you a hint. We practiced using them in our last song. Not just wings, but feathers. Some other animals do have wings besides birds, but no other animal has feathers like a bird does. So I'm not gonna read you this whole book. It's kind of long, but it's so interesting. I wanted to show you just a couple pages out of it, okay? It's called Feathers Not Just for Flying by Melissa Stewart, illustrated by Sarah S. Brannon. And it is published by Charles Bridge. Birds and feathers go together, like trees and leaves, like stars and the sky. All birds have feathers, but no other animals do. Most birds have thousands of feathers, but those feathers aren't all the same. That's because feathers have so many different jobs to do. Look at all those different kinds of feathers. Feathers can warm like a blanket. On cold, damp days, a blue jay stays warm by fluffing up its feathers and trapping a layer of warm air next to its skin. Have you seen any blue jays in your yard? Yeah? Or they can cushion like a pillow. This duck lines her nest with feathers she plucks from her own body, and these feathers cushion the duck's eggs and keep them warm. Feathers can shade out sun like an umbrella. And this hungry tricolored heron wades through the water in search of food. It puts its wings up high and see how it makes a shadow on the water? That's so that the sun doesn't reflect off the water and it's easier for it to see the, the fish and other things it might want to eat that are floating beneath the surface. Or 
protect skin, like sunscreen does. On sunny summer afternoons, red-tailed hawks spend hours soaring through the blue sky in search of prey. Prey is the animal they're going to eat. Their thick feathers protect their delicate skin from the sun's harmful rays. So you have to put on sunscreen, but the bird just has to use its feathers. So this book goes all the way through and talks about all the different things that wings do. This is one of my favorites. Look at that peacock's feathers. That peacock uses its feathers to attract other birds. A peacock's bright, beautiful tail feathers make him easy to spot. At mating time, a female is attracted to the male with the biggest, most colorful fan of feathers. There's kind of a close-up view of the peacock's feathers. Feathers can dig holes like a backhoe. So this bird has really stiff feathers that help it dig out holes in the ground for places to live or carry building supplies, like a forklift. Most birds carry nesting materials in their beaks, but not the female rosy-faced lovebird. When she finds grass, leaves, or strips of bark, she tucks them under her rump feathers and flies back to her nest. But most of all, feathers can give birds the lift they need to race across the sky. So that's kind of a fun thing to look at to learn more about all the different kinds of feathers that birds have. All right, are you ready for another rhyme? Okay, here we go. This one, we're gonna do some more flying. You can make little short wings or you can make long wings, okay? Or you can make a bird with your hands. Let's try that, should we? Okay, just put your thumbs next to each other or hook them and flap your fingers like they're wings. We'll start out that way. Here we go, you ready? Way up high, Robin flying just so. Then quick down low for a worm he must go. Put him all the way down the floor. There you go, bring him back up. Now with a wing on the left and a wing on the right. Fly to your tree, for soon it will be night. Do it again, are you ready? Okay, got your bird ready? Here we go. Way up high, Robin flying just so. Quick down low for a worm he must go. With a wing on the left and a wing on the right. Fly to your tree, for soon it will be night. <sighs> The last story I have for you is Big Fat Hen by Keith Baker, published by Voyager Books, Harcourt Inc. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. and her friends. One, two, three, four, five, six. All their eggs. Oh, what do you see? Starting right there. They're starting to hatch, aren't they? And all their chicks! Well, thank you so much.
so much for joining me for some stories about birds today. I hope you get a chance to look for some birds outside and maybe you'll see some looking for food and hopping around and digging in the dirt. That would be a fun thing to spend an afternoon doing. But now it is time for us to go. So we're gonna stretch way up high, are you ready? And tickle the clouds. Tickle your toes. Now turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low. Reach up high. Story time's over. Wave goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.